In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to beat Cover 2 in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel today. I want to show you kind of a basic defense that a lot of people are using this year, and I want to show you how to beat it. I want to show you how to actually burn it. And you do it from the Arizona playbook. No shocker there. And the play that we're going to set up, and we're just going to come out in. I'm going to actually make it my audible. Um, I'm going to make the... I'm going to go ahead and set my audibles up here, but you know this, you've seen this before, but what I love to do with this is this is the play we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about why stick, right? We're going to talk about why stick. And what I'm going to do is just put mesh in my audibles because I, I want to talk more about why stick. Okay. But to do this, what I want to do is we're all talking, we're talking all, all about uh, cover two. So I'm going to come out and couple different types of cover two defenses and I want to show you what's going to happen so we're going to come out why stick now this is this is really important okay we're this is only for baseline and pressed defenses baseline and pressed defenses okay baseline press that's what they're going to do now to stop the mesh that we've been running Right. If they base the line and press out of out of a cover two, what's going to happen is your Tyreek Hill is going to not be able. He's not going to be able to get that 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 spacing that we love from it. Right. So this is kind of the way that they counter it. Now, again, real quick, before uh, I go any further, just want to let you know my channel is devoted to helping you to get better at Madden 20. And if you want more help to get better at Madden 20, what I want to encourage you to do, check out the description. You can join my Discord server there. We can talk Madden. Look forward to seeing you over there. Okay, so this is kind of the standard. And again, I think vertical hooks are the best hook, best best way to go this year. But you see baseline press, and he's going to have that outside outside positioning. So what I'm going to do, and I also know that the vertical hook is probably, probably going to do that. Now, if I motion the tight end to the left, you see he's going to go that direction. Now, check out what happens, though, if I come back over here. Let me see if this still works. If I motion him to the right, you see he's going to come in compressed a little bit. So I can go out, or I can come in. Okay? They're just, just an FYI. All right? So I have two options there. But what I like to do is take Travis Kelsey, put him on a streak route. Tyreek Hill is on the fade route. Now watch Tyreek Hill's guy and watch it really, really carefully here. You're going to see he's going to get off that outside pursuit. And you're going to be able to have a shot at throwing that at throwing that deep. I need a little bit more space to be able to fit this in. So what I'm going to do is respot the ball. And there's two ways to beat cover two. I'm going to show you both of them here. I'm going to show you two specific plays. When I know that they're running a base aligned and a pressed cover two, these are the two plays that I'm going to use. Okay? Base aligned and pressed cover two. So here again, base aligned press. That's the only steps that I'm going to take. And then I'm going to play over the top coverage. Okay? If my crossing routes and my running back routes are not enough and I want to hit them deep, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to streak Travis Kelsey and I got Tyree Kill there. Now you're going to see, once Tyreek Hill gets, he's going to get a free release and he's going to be able to beat him to the outside every single time. <laughs> every single time. Because when they base a line, when they base a line, he's going to be, the corner is not, is, he's going to get misaligned. He's going to get a little bit misaligned. And when you're running at lightning fast pace, he's not going to get a good bump. So you can fit that in over and over and over again. The other thing that you can do, the other thing that you can do, more than likely, what's going to come, what's going to happen is, um, number one, what's going to happen, he's probably not going to be in a cloud flat. But if he is, right, this is the this is the defense everyone's going to run. I mean, everyone you face is going to run some variation of the list right here. They're going to try to send pressure off the left and the right edge. So what I've got, Tyreek Hill, like that, and then I'm going to, you're going to see here, just getting right off the edge, and then I'm just going to kind of swerve him toward the ball. Now, what your opponent's probably going to do is he is going to, you're going to start to face some max coverage situations, right? So they're going to get this guy here. They're going to go like this. These guys are going to be in vertical hooks. This guy's going to be here, and then they're going to go here, and then they're going to have a mid-read, and this is basically what it's going to look like. This is you know, a, a cover nine, right? So that's why you streak Travis Kelsey. So Travis Kelsey, you could fit that in right there over and over and over again, over and over and over again. And actually what you can do is if you see it in time, if you see, you can high point it and he can just do that user catch over and over again. 
He could do that over and over and over again out of this look. Now, again, I wouldn't recommend um, – I would recommend high-pointing it and just kind of seeing how that goes. But there's so much for them to set up. There's so much for them to do, right? And what's going to happen is Tyreek Hill, like if you motion him to the left and snap it, it's not going to be as open. It's still going to be there, but it's not quite. And, and this is, again, this is the basic principle that they're going to do. They're going to base a line and press. This is the only way they take away the, the mesh play that we're going to run, that we're going to establish. So I know that that's how he's going to play it. I know that every single time. So now I have the opportunity. Watch what happens when I motion Tyreek Hill. You see how he doesn't move? And now it's taken away because he's got outside positioning. That's the key thing. That's the key, key thing. So then what happens is if I baseline press and then I do that, do everything like that, set up my max coverage, and now what I'm going to do is I want to show you one other type of streak route. So that's the streak route from that route. Now I want to show you the streak route from um, Shallow Cross. So Shallow Cross here, you have Watkins, right? But if you watch, watch Tyreek Hill. Just pass late in and out, and you see it's wide open over and over again. Either way, either way you go. And if you wanted to, you could go to four verticals, right, if you wanted to. And because they're base aligned and pressed, just so you know, because they're base aligned and pressed, it's going to change the way that they're going to uh, cover the four verticals. And there, I just kind of got busy with my homes. But before I move on any further, what I want to do again is I want to encourage you to check out my Discord channel. And then also, there's a guy that has begun helping me in Madden, and I want to kind of shout him out. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's playing a couple of different games over there. One of them is called Russ, but you can check him out. His name is Sounds Fishy. That's his gamer tag. So check him out in the description of this video. He's done all the artwork and helped me a lot. I really appreciate his help. So check him out. Be sure to go over there, give him a subscribe, and check out his channel. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. Guys. All right, so jumping back into this here. So you've basically got this. Now, then again, this base align press look, this is this is a really good defense, right? Really, really difficult to beat. The problem is the safeties. If they move the safety down, I promise you, if they make the mistake of moving the safety down, if the safety is here, he's going to be able to get there. If the safety is here, he is not going to be able to get there. It doesn't matter who they are, right? So what's going to happen is depending on where the safety is, that's going to tell you to throw to Travis Kelsey or it's going to tell you to throw to Tyreek Hill. If he's inside, you're going to Tyreek Hill every single time. If he's more outside, you're going to Travis Kelsey. So let me show you how this looks. So here it is. Now, what I would do if I were them is I would start to do something like this. I would basically widen the safeties. Now, the only reason that I would do that is because, again, you're only throwing to Tyreek Hill. You're only throwing to Tyreek Hill. Well, watch what happens. Baseline press. Now I'm going to pass lead to the inside, and you see you're going to be able to cut that off. It's a user catch. Pass lead to the inside streaks. Y stick. And this is straight. I mean, this is literally straight Tampa 2. Over top coverage, right? Again, they're going to widen these guys out just a little bit. And then they're going to take a, a Wancia or whatever, put him in the deep blue, and then they're going to use her the underneath. That's what they're going to do. I promise you. That's what I would do. Right? That's most of what I do on defense. But you're going to see here, if I pass lead to the inside, then I can catch that. I can consistently catch that if they don't put a deep blue. Now, if they put a deep blue there, then out of Y stick, you're going to see really briefly here. So same thing. But this time they have a deep blue out there. And they've made that adjustment to widen these guys, which I don't know how they could make all of these adjustments if I'm moving really quick. That's why it's important to go no huddle, right? What's going to happen is you're going to be able to work the levels. So all of that, and you're going to be able to consistently work that button right there. The square's going to be wide open all game long. This is Peyton Manning's favorite play. He, he made a career, made a career out of running a good levels concept. And again, what I like is that it's kind of paired with a little bit of a four vertical look, right? You got four verts, you got two verticals on the right, and then you got a drag, drag underneath kind of thing. And you'll see here, um, this route to triangle, very, very effective. Um, not as good as like a Y cross, but but still effective. And um, let me show you that real quick. Um, let me show you one other way that you can beat cover two before we jump out of here. 
The other way you could do it is you could go into the gun doubles and you could call the play weak flood. Now, this is a max protect play. This is a play that if they're blitzing you, you're going to run this play. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to block Travis Kelsey. You're going to motion Tyree Kill across. This is basic cover two, right? Basic cover two. And then you're just going to roll out with Mahomes, and you're going to pass lead up to square. And you see you can aggressive catch it, and it's going to typically mean a touchdown. Now, if you are, if you are on... It does actually matter if you're on the hash. So, like, if I'm on the left hash, it's going to make this play a little bit more... Um, I might have got my hashes mixed up. But it's going to make that play a little bit more effective. So, uh, the play is weak flood. You don't want to mess with the running back. You want to keep him on that route. You could put triangle on a slant if you wanted to. I really just like leaving him on an out route because I think it kind of holds that deep blue. But watch, I'm just going to roll... And I didn't get the didn't get the best animation on that one. Let me try it one more time. But I'll do this every now and then. If someone is perennially calling cover two against me, I will slip on over to this formation right here and I'll call weak flood. And it looks just like mesh, right? Looks just like mesh to everybody, right? But the only thing is he's gonna come over. He's gonna max protect. You know, and I do this for people that are um Eh, maybe you should slant him. Maybe you should slant the other guy. Let me try that. Um, but I do this all the time. All the time. If someone's running a lot of cover two, I'm going to slide protect to the right, try to get out to the pocket. Eh, I didn't get the... But you'll see right there. Pass lead up. And it's a dot. It's a dot. I promise you it's a dot. And it's wide open. And even there, I didn't even get it all the way. But either hat, I think it works regardless of what hash you're on. But it does work best if it's from this hash. You know, some people are going to try to tell you that it's, you know, whatever. It's got, it only works on the right hash or whatever. It works best if it's going to the wide side of the field. Because then that safety just doesn't, he just doesn't pay attention. And you're able to possession catch that. Let me show you the other slot. Let me show you the other, um the other hash mark because the game they are people are correct in saying you know the game does play different depending on the hash mark that you're at so again the get gun doubles out of the arizona playbook and the play is weak flood right you're just going to take triangle put him on a slant you're going to block the tight end motion tyree kill across and you're just going to snap right before he gets to a place where he could go you got to roll out pass lead up and Sammy Watkins is going to be open for a touchdown. As you can see, it works a little bit better if you're on the right hash than if you're on the left hash. But that is a simple, simple, simple way to to beat cover two. I think Ant Cap taught me. Uh, one of the videos I was checking out was he was showing that post route and how that's effective. So shout out to Ant Cap. Be sure to follow Sounds Fishy in the description of this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your time. And also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can join me on Discord. And if it's your first time,